So last week, we uh, put some skull beads in Illumilite. So we did just a dead clear one, and we tried putting some orange swirls in this, but it really didn't, I don't know, it didn't work out like swirly. So, um, but um, I'm pretty happy. The way this, uh, the clear one turned out, if we weren't gonna touch this at all, it would be, let me try and focus this thing. There we go. Uh, it would be pretty awesome if we weren't turning this. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is all going to work out when we turn it, though. But that's why we do Dunkin' Junk. So um, what I did was I picked the clear one because I, I don't know. I'm just looking at these these orange ones. It may be kind of cool, but it just looks kind of dirty uh, or something. And I haven't actually tested these. The, the skull beads in this one are glow in the dark, I think. So I actually need to test that first. But... Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and turn a razor handle out of the one of the clear ones. I have it chucked up on the lathe already. Um, and I'll kind of walk through how I have that set up uh, to turn and, and the steps that I took to get it ready to turn. Okay, so on this side, it's just a drill chuck with a quarter 20 uh, all thread, you know, like bolt stuck in it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually pull this apart real quick here. Show you guys, so it's just screwed on. And on the blank, what I did was I just drilled this, uh, drilled this out, tapped it with a quarter 20 uh, thread. And what we're gonna be using for the razor kit, I don't do tubed kits for razors. I just, uh, I just screw in this little, this little piece. And then the razor, it's the dual double edge safety razor. Uh, or I guess anything would just screw into this. So it's a very simple kit. Basically, we're just turning the handle. Uh, but there's no tubes, so you don't have to paint anything or do any of that stuff. I'm not taking a huge cut or anything like that. Uh, pretty reasonable cut. There, I took a little bit more off that time, and I did feel something kind of pop out a little bit, but didn't blow up or anything. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Definitely, definitely had something kind of want to fly out. Probably be good to give it a little bit of pressure with my fingers. Support the blank. And just lob it off like that. Well, okay, we got through the turning and had no major mishaps with this blank. I'm actually really surprised. A lot of times smooth materials, plastics and all that kind of stuff, it yeah, the bond's really not that good between the resin and something smooth, and so I was a little worried off the bat, but I think that having the holes and all the, the different kind of like features on the faces, I think that kind of helped it. The resin had a little bit more to grab into, but I was pretty careful turning it, and I tried to do my best not to have these things rip out, and we got through it, and I'm pretty happy with the results. It looks kind of cool. Now, you know, things like this where, you know, you got skulls, the parts where we kind of cut them in half, they're not as, you know, awesome, but you can see the skulls in the inside, and so that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. It turned out a lot better than I thought. So a couple of little tips, if you're gonna be embedding kind of smooth objects in resin, a couple things that will help to kind of stack the cards in your favor. 
One, make sure that you do not start turning or machining or doing anything with the blank for like a week. Set it aside, let that resin really cure and it'll help that bond a little bit more. The other thing is when you're turning it, if you know the materials are kind of, you know, you think they might be a little bit, the bond might be bad and they may kind of rip out, just douse the blank every couple cuts with some thin CA glue and that will kind of help if there's any areas that are kind of weak the thin CA should hopefully help kind of keep that stuff together while you're cutting it. So just a couple tips to help you get better results. Again, really happy with this thing. It turned out pretty good. So I hope everybody has a happy and safe Halloween this year. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of resin projects. We do, you know, casting, a lot of turning focused things, but we do experiments, projects, and lots of how-tos. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button. So until next time, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.